All right, what's up guys? Jason Wayne here. I'm gonna show you how to connect some Nix bulbs to blackout. So number one, let's plug this in to this little contraption. All right, we got it plugged in. Now, what you need to do, go into your menu. Number one, find your DMX address and change it to the correlating thing you have programmed. In this case, Let's see, this is bulb 806, so it's 165, so put that here. All right, once you got that, click out of there. Fix your number. That would be 806. So let's put that in there. All right, now that we got that, let's tell the bulb to become a wireless DMX. In the main menu, find input select, hit enter. Do not want auto, not standalone, app control, wired DMX, nope. We need wireless DMX, there it is, hit enter. All right, in the main menu, find DMX settings. Hit enter, profile. This is very important to get this one right. DMX profile one number, hit enter. I've been doing 91. But you can choose whatever one's right for you. But I want the CCT and then all the colors as well. Hit enter. If you scroll over DMX profile, see it's 91 as well. So we're getting pretty close. Now you can see that our CRMX is not linked and that little has a little Bluetooth sign on there. So what you really need to do is go to your uh, receiver and hit the pair button. I got the Rat Pack satellite. Let's see what's going to pair. Come on, buddy. There it goes. See? Now you got Bluetooth or DMX. All right, now that we have DMX control, there's the bulb. It's plugged in. Let's go to 806. Let's hit this intensity button. And voila. We got power. Now let's check our color. All right, if you double click this, you can get into here. Color crossfade, blue. Turn the saturation. Okay, you gotta make sure the saturation's up. Now we got control, as you see. Yep, there we go. It's all working. So I just had the saturation turned down. Uh, turn that saturation up, and then boom. You can see the colors on my hand. It is working. And that's how you patch a Nix bulb into DMX. Oh, and also make sure your bulbs are up to date. That'll really help out everything. I just plugged it in and it popped up here. It says updating, but you can also just go into the Astera app and update from there as well. I just want to make this video because I literally cannot find anything online. So hope this helps somebody. Thanks.